Hi guys, I just made a video about the source, right? Where did the configuration of Hyperlink come from? How was it possible that I could actually learn and start with Wayland? Because a month ago, was I didn't know anything about Wayland. So this is the source, right? And from here, we started building up or breaking down code and say, okay, let's make this even more for Hyperlinks. And the things you see, everything has changed already a little bit. We have up here a weather script, and that's what I wanted to share in this video. So the weather script is coming from here, but I forgot, well, I delete a lot of things. I want to clean, I want to add a clean config, but <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up one file to watch. So update, I've put back in again, a script for the weather. So if you install, hyperlink with Arlington's B ISO, then you'll get an update in, and you know where the update is. It's inside a, a folder that's never gonna be used. It's inside etc scale. So rather than doing scale, which is a good thing, but then everything is overwritten, I rather get the one file because I know, right? I know it's just the one file. So etc scale, control H, config, and now we go to hyper, 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 what am I, okay, hyper. And then inside the script, there's a new file, this guy. Control C, put it in the config, put it in the hyper, into the scripts. And I've done that already, but you should do it right. And then, well, it's, you don't have to replace it because it's not there in your case. But yes, I replace it. And then you see it works. It's now 10 degrees in Antwerp. So the marvel of this little script. Well, let's start from the top, shall we? Let's start from the top. How do we get this? Sublime text. The whole folder of Hyper is in here. Okay, check. What's this? That's the way bar. Check. The way bar is set here in the folder way bar. Okay. Config. Fine. Here it, I've added this by default. It's not there because I know weather scripts in general, right? The last five years, they never last very long. At some point in time, the information where you get it from the website, they change or that they start using APIs and stuff like that. And then uh, everything stops. But Check it out. So if you add custom weather to, in this case, the right modules, where, oh, how do I know that there's a module? You just go over the modules, right? And somewhere, control find weather, you'll see that there is a module called weather and it's gonna read the weather.sh script. Okay, scripts, weather.sh, weather.sh, and this, and it goes on, right? And at some point in time, it's gonna call the weather pi, Python file. And all the, yeah, it gets a lot of code. It's gonna be in the cache folder. How do we know this? In the cache RBN folder, and it's gonna have a lot of files and it's gonna grab stuff from there. Got all kinds of things from it. And in the end, you get numbers. And with the numbers, you say, okay, we'll have a little cloud there or something. It's a little bit small, but I think it's a cloud that you see here, down here. But what's mainly important is, yeah, the temperature. And it's in the correct code, right? Celsius rather than Fahrenheit. I am thinking, however, is this done by default, which is great, right? And otherwise, just mention me if you see in America everything in C rather than Fahrenheit. I think it's... Uh, doing that automatically so that's it and the only thing you need to know is well the weather.py is in the etc scale when you update so it has to be in the scripts folder you need to add it to the to the modules right here custom weather copy paste well copy paste from here then if you want to copy paste you get it from here and weather get the quotes as well Control C, let's put another one to the left. 
comma, control V, save. And now I'll have two of them, right? I have one here and I'll have one there. And that's how you should do it. And then it will work. That's your weather module. All right. Cheers.